Hey everyone. So I'm so excited because we're going to do January favorites. I think I really have a good, how am I going to put it, several different categories. You know, it's not going to be like mostly lipsticks or foundations or whatever. We're going to have a lot of different varieties here. And so I think that's going to make it a little bit interesting um, today. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have really, really loved, as you guys know, all of Ivy Scent soaps. I'm really, really um, turned on to them. They're all natural. Um, they lather really well. I feel good about them when I put them on my body and um, I never feel like uh, they're taking the moisture out. They're very moisturizing because they're all natural so they don't tend to dry my skin out. So um, I'm really, really loving this and um, the one I'm using right now is the Gates of Heaven. I also love the Candy Clouds but I can't um, you know, let it miss a video by not talking about how much I love um, Ivy Scent soap. So they're definitely my favorite uh, kind of soap to use right now. Um, also, I want to move on to the Neutrogena face wipes. Oh my gosh, when I went to Vegas, um, we were out late at night, you know, and we come back in so tired. My sister actually turned me on to these, and they are awesome. Um, you know, I used to at night wash my face you know, and I'd get water all over the place, and you know how it is when you're leaning over the sink, your eyes are closed, you know, and it just runs all down your arms into your PJs, and yeah, so it's not a lot of fun, but um, at night, man, I use this, and it just saves me so much time, and it's just so easy. It's great for removing your makeup and your mascara. Um, it's great for all skin types. Haven't had a problem with this at all. It's like baby wipes, pretty much. So they're awesome. They have these at all of the drugstores, discount super centers, um, and all of that. So if you haven't tried these, I strongly recommend that you do because they will make your nighttime uh, face routine, like, so much easier. So, I mean, I just <laughs> really, really love them. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys, um, well, we don't want to show you that because that's not one of our favorites because we haven't tried it yet. But um, the Bare Minerals Matte foundation. I really, really like that right now. The Bare, bare Minerals is good too. It runs about 20 something dollars but, and the applicator is a little bit easier and less messy. Anyway, this month, I, or last month, um, I was been using the uh, Bare Minerals Matte every day and uh, that's really, really working out pretty, pretty good. So, um, I'm liking that. As far as the Mario Badescu stuff, I love Mario Badescu. Um, they're not all natural but they do have some natural ingredients added into the mixture. Um, I am loving their toner right now. This one is for, it's the Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. It is geared towards combination, dry, sensitive skin types. Um, my skin tends to change, ladies, and also um, try to uh, be in tune with your skin. Um, in the winter, mine tends to dry out, and then in the summer, it gets more oily. So just keep up with your skin, and you'll have to probably, you know, through the seasons or twice a year, um, change your uh, face care routine based on the type of skin that you're getting. But um, I'm really loving this. It's got a great scent to it, and it doesn't dry my skin out or feel like it has a ton of alcohol in it like some of the toners out there. Um, also, at nighttime, um, after I use the Neutrogena wipes at night, um, I put on this eye cream, and I, I put it on in the morning as well, but... Um, the Mario Badescu skincare line, the Dermanectin eye cream, I really love it. It's very thick. It's a heavy uh, moisturizing eye cream, and it's great for me right now because my skin is a little bit drier in the winter. And I wanted to also show you guys the Honey Moisturizer by Mario Badescu. I like that at night. Um, I don't use this moisturizer in the morning. I use a lighter one by them. It's like the buttermilk. Oh, it's a blue one, but anyway. Um, I, I tend to use a heavier moisturizer at night and then a lighter one in the morning. The reason being is that at night your skin tends to dry as you sleep. Um, it tends to dry out more because there's nothing covering it up. It's just bare open. And uh, you've got like, what, eight hours, uh, if, you, if you're lucky to get that much, some of you out there, um, to let it dry out. So it's really, really good to put on one of your heavier moisturizers or the heaviest kind you can for your skin type at night and then go with a lighter one. Um, during the day. So I'm really liking the Honey Moisturizer and the Dermanectum Eye Cream as well as the Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion by Mario Badescu. Um, okay, laugh if you, if you want. I don't care. Um, I've like never really used the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion, so yeah, I've just kind of been out of the loop on that. I've been using a lot, um, 
Look, if you're ever out of eye shadow primer, just use your foundation. I've done that a lot of times when I ran out, and before I even knew there was such a thing as an eye primer, I would just put my foundation around my eyes. But I do that anyway as well, too. But, um, you know, if you're in a pinch, it might not work as well, but it helps get you through. It's definitely better than putting eyeshadow on uh, bare skin. But anyway, back to the Urban Decay. This is really, really great. I prefer the consistency of the MAC primer, eye primer, but these two sort of even out for me on a scale because I like how this applies better. You have the applicator on this, whereas with the MAC one you have to use your finger. So there's a bit of a difference there. Um, but they both work well on um, keeping the creases uh, at bay for your eyes or when you put your eyeshadow on. So, you know, either one for me right now, but definitely right now I'm, I'm using the Urban Decay and it seems to be going pretty good. So um, that's another one of my favorites. Um, I always go back to this. I go back and forth because to me, this is my favorite mascara. I go through bouts where I try the drugstore ones or all that, but they seem to dry out faster or or, you know, they work great the first couple of applications and then something happens. But I cannot go wrong, it seems like, with the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. Um, it just works <laughs> really, really well for me. So it's all about finding the right kind for your eyelashes, too. Um, but I really like this. So, of course, I might have done this, done this once before in a video, but I can't help to show it again. It is going to be a long-lasting favorite. And that is the Travel Brush Kit, the pink one by Sigma. Um, I went to see my grandparents, and this is just, I love it. It's so easy, and you have all your brushes right there. If you have any extras, you can put them in this zipper pocket, and I mean, I just, it's awesome. I love the way it feels. I love the, their brushes, um, and I also love their makeup, which brings me to their Beauty on the Go Travel Kit. This is one of the palettes, and um, I have four of the eyeshadows in here, but anyway, what's so great about this is when you travel, their eyeshadows are so easy to put in and put out. You know, they're very, very simple um, and fast and quick. There's no, like, digging in there and using something. You just pop it out and pop it in. Um, so it's very, very simple. Um, and they just come in handy. Um, so anyway, I really love their eyeshadows. They're um, just great for travel. You can customize it each day. And um, they're just really, really, really simple, really, really easy to replace in these palettes, and I have to also have to add, I love the colors. This is my favorite one by them, Angie. That's my favorite eyeshadow that they make, and um, they all have just a little hint of frost um, or pearl, you know, uh, shimmer to them. They're just, I love them, okay? I just love them, and that's all there is to it. So, anyway, yeah, so those are my favorites for, uh, this not not this month, but January. Yeah, so if you guys haven't gotten around to it, try them out. Um, you know, uh, especially like if you don't want to go with the bare minerals, if it's too expensive, try out the Elf. But either one of these work really, really great. I do like the way this uh, the um, applicator how it pours out easier. But uh, they're both great products, so yeah, it's all good. And uh, hope you guys try it. And I shall see you next time. Bye.